Hey everyone, welcome to the Pop Culture Arts Curriculum. And today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create your very own Minecraft guest. I'm Bauer, the co-founder of Cardboard Superheroes, which is a nonprofit that promotes arts in the youth. So make sure to give us a follow on our Instagram as well as check out our website. Cardboard Superheroes has been so lucky to partner with the Comic Con Museum to bring you this curriculum. And so make sure to give them a follow as well. And for any educators out there who would like a free teacher's guide, framework overview, and learning objectives, make sure to email us at education at cardboardsuperheroes.com. All right, let's start building. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is print out this template right here. On this template, you'll be able to find supplies lists, safety tips, and also reference images. Right now, all you're gonna need is the very last page of the template, which looks like this. And you don't have to cut exactly on the black lines, but you can just make a very rough cut of it. Now that you finish cutting out all of your template pieces, we're gonna start taping it onto our cardboard. Once you've taped down all of the template pieces, we're gonna start cutting them out. And so as you can see, some of the template pieces have numbers next to them, for example, 16 long tentacles. And so that number just signifies how many times you need to cut out that same piece. And so once I cut out one of the, ten the long tentacle pieces, I'm gonna take the same template, place it down and cut it out 15 more times. That way you have 16 in total. And so if you guys wanna create the exact replica of mine, which looks like this, you're gonna need to cut out all of the tentacle pieces. But if you guys don't wanna cut out that many, you can just eliminate the short ones. But I really do encourage you guys to cut out all of them because in the end, it does look a lot cooler. I laid out the six body pieces because we're gonna be building the cube first. And so a cube is made up of six squares and so that's why you should end up having the six squared body pieces. And so when you guys are gonna be gluing together these squares, you should be gluing them at a 90 degree angle or otherwise known as a right angle. The next thing that you're gonna be doing is gluing on the two eyes as well as the mouth. And you can glue this in any way possible and basically you can choose his emotion of what he looks like. So I glued on my eyes and mouth sort of like this so he sort of looks silly. And so you can kind of just be creative and glue it in any way you want. And so I made him look more silly like that. And so the next thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be gluing all of the tentacle pieces together. And so that's why I laid them all out. And I laid them all in stacks of four. So there's four long tentacle stacks here, and then four short, and then there's four in the front tentacles. And so you're just gonna be gluing all of these together. The next thing that we're gonna be doing is gluing all of these tentacle pieces onto the bottom of the ghast. And so the three most important pieces are two long tentacle pieces and the one front tentacle piece. And so you're gonna be grabbing this piece right here, which is a trapezoid. And the reason I know it's a trapezoid is because trapezoid is a shape that has one set of parallel lines and these two sides right here are parallel, whereas this side and this side are not. So that's why I know it's a trapezoid. And this is gonna be going onto the back side of the ghast, which is like about right there. And you're gonna glue it so that it's slanted away from where his eyes are. So his eyes are here and it's getting slanted away. And this is at a 25 degree angle. And the reason I know this is because I used a protractor, which is this device right here and I measured the, ang the degree of the angle. And so you're gonna glue one of the long tentacle pieces there and you're gonna glue the other one symmetrical to that one, which is about right there. And once you've glued those down, you're gonna grab the one front tentacle piece and you're gonna glue it in the front middle of the ghast, which is about right there. And this piece right here is a parallelogram. And the reason is because a parallelogram is a shape that has two sets of parallel lines. And so these two sides right here are parallel. And these two sides right here are parallel. 
And the reason why this is super important, these are three most important pieces to glue down, is because this is gonna is this is what helps to make your gas stand on its own. Now your gas can stand all by itself. And so we're now just gonna glue on the rest of the tentacle pieces. And the longer tentacle pieces should be positioned more towards the back of the gas, whereas the smaller ones you wanna position more, more towards the front of the gas. And it's better to make this, uh, the placement of these tentacles more randomized because it'll come out looking a lot better. Congratulations, and I hope you guys had fun building the gas with me. Remember that this model is part of a larger curriculum, so there are many more models to come. I hope to see you guys next time, and see ya!